You won't believe what I saw this week hunting through metal detecting videos. Do you like metal detecting finds? Do you want to see some silver, some gold, some jewelry? You want to see some relics? I got it all for you. It's starting right now. Here we go. Hey everybody, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt and welcome to another episode of The Weekly Dirt. If it's your first time here, The Weekly Dirt's a weekly series I put on every Sunday where I gather up clips from some of your favorite metal detecting channels and show them to you here on this show that I call The Weekly Dirt. Let's get started. Hey, let's check in with those Jersey gals. That's right, Audra and Rachel make up the New Jersey History Hunters. Boy, if you're not a fan of that channel, you need to go check it out. They had an incredible hunt, and I'm going to show it to you here. Check this out from New Jersey History Hunters. Watch this. Rachel and I have both wanted to hit this area for a long time. Yeah. And uh, finally did it. Well, we're getting there anyway. Pull this out. Not real sure what that is. I mean, it's got some design on it. First, I thought it was a thimble, but uh, there's no holes. Huh. That's interesting. And I like interesting. How about that? Oh, it looks like silver. That's silver. That might be a... Uh... Could be a real. Yeah, we'll have to try and figure that one out. I'm not sure. <laughs> Another silver. Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, that one's more readable. Oh, my God. Look, it's clear as day. Dude, it's another one. No oh, way. <laughs> Get out of here. Pick that thing up. Dude, this is not a real. That's li Liberty. No, is that an no. eagle on the back? What That's is that? Eagle. Dude. I think so. Oh my God. It is an eagle, the shield. Oh my God, you're finding everything. <laughs> Did you find one Spanish real? No. Did you find two Spanish reals? Yes. Did you also find an 1834 five cent piece? Liberty Head, incredible find. Rachel, great job. Audrey, great job finding that thimble piece. I'd really be interested to find out what that turned out to be. Uh, just a great hunt from you two. You guys have been on a tear lately. Everyone, head on over. I'll put the link down below. Go check out these Jersey gals, I'm telling you. New Jersey History Hunters, you gotta go check out their channel. Link is down below and tell them you saw them here on the Weekly Dirt. Keep it up, you two. Oki Surf and Turf Metal Detecting was at it again. He's had collaboration with a bunch of other YouTube diggers out there. Spud Digger was out there. You gotta go check it out. They were hunting a ghost town and pulling up the goods as you would expect. Check this out from Oki's Surf and Turf. Watch this, check this out. That's right. I just had a woohoo moment. Rob's gonna be uh, a little upset when he sees what my first signal. And dude, this thing was deep. My first coin, my first signal, first signal was a Chinese coin. Woohoo, baby! All right, let's see what else we can find. We're switching gears a little bit. 
We got Spud Digger, got Rob there. We're gonna see if we can go find some nuggets. Never done this before. Ah. Is. <laughs> that is cool, man. Uh, it's like a yeah, like a blacksmith tongs. Yeah. Dude, that that's a great find, dude. That's pretty cool. Uh, Rob just screamed like a bad man. It's a Chinese coin. That's I don't think it is, though. I don't know, man. Out here. That looks good to me. All right, so. Oh, that's a fatty. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, a, look, wait, wait, wait. I'm it coming is. here. It's, right, it's a bloody Chinese coin! Yeah, buddy. buddy. Look at that. Woo. Good job, man. TDI. T that's beautiful. Yeah, nice work. Nice work. Thanks, brother. Well, I just uh, found something. I didn't know what they were. I knew there was some type of tag, and I showed them somebody, and they go, "No, know what you have? You have uh, claim tags. Two of them. Found them in the same hole. So that's cool. That's a cool piece of history over here. Man, I'll take that. Boy, a little bit of everything. Some really ancient Chinese coins. You got even some gold nuggets on that hunt. You got some mine claim tags. That is awesome. Little toy gun, perfect. Great, great hunt. A lot more there than I could put on these clips. You guys ought to go check it out. Links down below to Oki's Surf and Turf Metal Detecting. Go check them out and tell them you saw them here. Great job, guys. Great job this week. Hey, let's go check in with Tony. Who's Tony? Well, Tony Two Cent. That's right, Tony Two Cent. If you're not familiar, hey, the link's down below. Check out what he was digging this week. Let's check in with Tony Two Cent. Watch this. Okay, today is Saturday, August 25th, 2018. This was probably the second signal I dug. It's one of those good luck tokens. It's kind of shaped like a horseshoe, but it's bent in half. I think I've got an Indian head here. That's the back of it. Okay, here's that Indian. It's 1903. All right, see if we can find some more. Get back with you. I think it's going to be a barber. Pretty sure it is. I'll clean it up and let you know. All right, first silver of the day, finally. Get back with you. Yep, it's a 1905 Barber Dime. Awesome. And uh, something down there is the color we like. Awesome. Okay, I don't want to rub this. So I'm going to get some water on it, and I'll let you know what it is. Okay, this one's a Merc. Looks like it's 1940 something, so not real old, but looks like it's in pretty good shape. Okay, I just found this and, and I, I was gonna, I brought over here and showed it to Don. I thought it was just two wheat pennies stuck together, but he looked at it and he said it's definitely a wheat scent and an Indian head stuck together. And uh, I think I can see 1894 there. Okay, here's that Indian head and wheat scent that were stuck together. And it turns out that the wheat scent is 1911. Kind of gives you an idea, too, of how long the Indian head circulated. Boy, it must have been a sign. It must have been a sign, Tony Two Cent. You pulled that good luck charm, and then they start coming. Here comes the finds. Awesome job. Indian head punny. Uh, wheat penny barbers. You even had an India head penny and a wheat penny stuck together. I don't think I've ever seen that in the same mold. Great job. Everyone go check out the link down below. Check out all his videos and check in with Tony Two Cent. Wonderful job. Great job, guys. You like videos with just tons of finds, with just find after find after find? I'm telling you, Paul Meadow Diggers did that this week. An incredible video. I couldn't put it all in here, but I did my best. Check this out from Paul Meadow Diggers. Try and keep up. Here we go.
Well, so far nothing too old, but look at this. This is pretty cool. It's a full old style razor. It's probably gonna have a patent date on there. Wow, check this out. It just popped out of the hole. Oh, that's pretty neat looking. Probably a piece of a drawer pull. Oh yeah, see? Where the handle would have went, I think. A little decorative piece. I like it. And swing along. And look, a buckle. An old one too. Cool. It's bent, but I'll take it. It's whole nut. Wow, this is a house site. Look, finial. Pretty neat looking one too. It's all bent right there, but top of it's whole. That's pretty cool. And right over here, I got a drawer pull handle, and it's an old one too. Oh, actually, it's got a dragon on it. I think that's what that is. This is a um, not a drawer pull, but a side plate for an Indian trade musket, and I'll show you a picture of it. And it's all something round and silver down in this hole. There it is, see? Check it out. It's just a flat button. Yep. It's got a lot of gilt left on it. Cool. Holy moly, this is awesome. <laughs> a South Carolina button. A big domed one. I've never found one like that. And it says, I think it says SC on it. It's got the shank and everything. That's a Civil War button for sure. It's in really good shape. Uh, it says Horstman Brothers and Company, Philadelphia. About an 1880 1890 button. Got a toe tap. I don't know if it has a date on it or not. Oh, yeah. Maybe one on there. Yeah, that's just scratches. Wow, check out this trigger guard. Oh, it's got a design on it, too. I'm not going to rub on it anymore. I'm going to clean it up, show you the wrap up. It's actually got a bird on there. Hopefully you can see that. Wow, check this out. One for the road. It's a ring. And it's got the stone still in it. That thing is old looking. Alright, I'll clean it up and show you later. Might even be silver. Wow, just tons of finds. Excellent sight you were on there. Great job hunting. Boy, you're pulling out those, those musket plates. That's awesome. Trigger guard. You, man, everything. You just found all kinds of things. Those buttons were so cool. You found a South Carolina militia button. That is just intense. Awesome job from Palmetto Diggers. You guys go check out his channel. Just a great collection of videos. Check it out. Links down below. Palmetto Diggers. Go give them a look. Check it out. Hey, there's a few announcements this week. Let's get right to them. South Coast Detecting. Boy, head on over to that channel. Link's down below. They're having a cool giveaway. You guys go over there, check it out, and get in on it. Good luck to everyone on that giveaway. It's a good one. South Coast Detecting. Go check it out. Hey, and Thor's Treasure. Boy, Thor's Treasure is having a giveaway. You know, he's doing about a five-stage giveaway. He's already been through uh, the fifth fifth phase. Uh, fourth phase is coming up, so I'm going to put the link down below. You still have time to head over there to this link. Get in on the fourth phase of his giveaway. It's a good one. Check it out. Thor's Treasure. All right. And Indiana Creek Walker. Boy, they're doing the monthly giveaway for September. It's out. Giving away some cool bottles to his subscribers. So head on over there. Check them out. Tell them you saw them here on the Weekly Dirt. And get involved in that great bottle of giveaways from Indiana Creek Walker. Awesome job. Hey, my buddy, Mike Lyman, MA Lyman 24, having a thousand sub giveaway. Awesome job, Mike. You head on down to the link I'll put down below. Go over there and get involved in it. You got a little bit more time left. Head on over there and good luck to everyone. I hope you all win a prize. Mike's a great guy and let's help him celebrate his thousand sub celebration. Go check it out. Hey, here's a channel for you. Will Detect. Will Detect's having a 100 sub giveaway. He's giving away these metal detector stands. Now the stands aren't for everybody, so you gotta go on over there and check it out and see if they'll fit your machine. And if you're interested, get in on his giveaway. Hey, while you're there, throw him a sub. Tell him you saw him here on the Weekly Dirt. That would be awesome, but check it out. Because these metal detecting stands just might fit your metal detector and you can get one from him. Go check it out. Will Detect, great giveaway. Hey, Relic Rangers, boy, they need your help. Yeah. Their digger, Bill, needs a nickname. They need to nickname Bill and give him a Relic Rangers name. So you head on over to this and they're having a giveaway and a contest. Side by side, links down below. Head over there, Relic Rangers. Get involved in it and think of some good nicknames for Bill. I'm sure you can. Relic Rangers, link is down below. Hey, and it's coming up, the next episode of Digger Spotlight. Boy, I appreciate all of you that came along last time. This one should be another great one. Digger Spotlight, September 4th, it's a Tuesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. 
my special guest, Tony and Caden from 5280 Adventures. Boy, we're gonna talk about detecting, we're gonna talk about gold panning, we are gonna talk about competitions, we're gonna talk about fines, we're gonna talk about a lot of things. So come along and join in on the chat, take part in the conversation and get in on the giveaway. That is Digger Spotlight, September 4th, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, links down below. Hope to see you all there. That's it, that's what I got for you. It's another episode of The Weekly Dirt, starting our second year. Hey. It's going to be a great one. Hope to see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt. Have a great week. I'm going to see you next Sunday.